Yeah, it, I mean, Emily, what what do we do about this? I mean, even I mean, these are tragic stories, but I think there's even probably um, less severe examples where and I'll, I'll, I'll consider myself one of them. You know, I was a good officer, but I could have been a lot better officer if it had been okay to um, ask for help for some of these things. And uh, the heck, I may have stayed in the Navy longer. Um, and you know, the Navy's lost much better people than me, <laughs> but, but, you know, we, we, we lose people and because you can't, you can't come forward, you can't get help, um, for fear, whether it's security clearance, flight status, whatever it is, what, what do we do yeah. about it? And, and I, by not getting help, I mean, they're just doing it without help. I mean, so it's, it's not- got to take it's got to take leadership to be able to say that to demonstrate that it's OK. That's one of the reasons why I spoke up, because I was at that level at the, you know, on the SECNAV staff. Um, that's one of the reasons I spoke up. But, you know, I interviewed um, Chris Strickland, who was a, um, a Thunderbird pilot. His Thunderbird crashed and. He's, um, it's amazing that he was able to survive that crash with no internal injuries. The only injury really was he was a couple inches shorter and they don't even know how that all happened. But here his plane crashed. No one suggested he go to therapy or get any treatment for that crash. That is messed up. That's messed up. Same with John McCaskill. When I interviewed him, um, did he tell you about the movie that's about what, about him? Oh, yeah. What's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. Did he tell you that he was the one that was supposed to be out there, but he didn't go on the mission? Mm-hmm. And when he came, he had to identify his friend. Mm-hmm. And when he went home, he went to visit his friend's wife, and then he went home to give her a flag or something. And then he went home and packed for the next mission. I don't understand, you know, I don't know what the, the answer is to that, Chris, except for it needs to be senior people demonstrating that it's okay to get help because that, I just, I just feel so bad for all the people that have, you know, been through, you know, much worse things than I ever did in the military and, and, and then in some of my guests and they're not getting the help that they need. And we're just not even talking about it. 